Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and today I want to give you a quick demonstration of GPU rendering mode with uh, Adobe Air for Android. I have two applications here, one's called CPU Test and one's called GPU Test. And what they do is they, uh, they show a, uh, a simple animation of a square. It's scaling and rotating at about 50 frames per second, which is unrealistically high for a mobile device, but the point of this test is to push the boundaries a little bit. And you can see that in CPU mode it actually works very well. The animation is, is, uh, is fluid and the frame rate uh, appears to be very high. So let's move over to GPU mode and see what kind of results we get there. Um, here's the GPU test and I'll add a square and you can see that we get pretty much the same results. If you look really carefully you might see that it might even be slightly slower than the CPU test, um, which is an interesting dynamic. Uh, at this point you might be asking what's the point of the GPU rendering mode if it's actually slightly uh, slower than CPU and I will show you why. In CPU mode, we're back in CPU mode here, and I'm gonna add a square, and uh, once it gets bigger, I'm gonna start adding additional squares, and you'll see right away that the animation starts to slow down as I add the second, third, fourth, and here's a fifth square. You can see that we've now pushed the CPU um, further than it can really go. The CPU can't really keep up with these animations, and we're uh, we're seeing very poor, uh, poor performance, um, we're dropping frames, and we're not seeing a very fluid experience anymore. Now let's try the same thing with the, uh, with the GPU. I'll add a square here. Once again, we're seeing you know, a good high consistent frame rate with one square. And now watch what happens when I start adding additional squares. There's the second, third, fourth, and fifth. You'll notice that uh, we don't uh, start slowing down. The animations don't become choppy. We're not losing uh, dropping frames. Uh, we're not losing performance at all. The the, uh, the animation staying very smooth and very consistent using the GPU. In fact, I'll just start adding as many squares as I can here. And, um, and you can see that the experience is staying uh, very, very consistent. And uh, by by offloading the uh, the rendering to the GPU, we can get a lot of movement and a lot of animation on the screen all at once without having to worry about taxing the CPU. Meanwhile, the CPU can be doing other things. Uh, the CPU can be used for um, other kinds of calculations, which of course are necessary for applications like games, while your rendering is, is being handled uh, independently. So that's the advantage of using the GPU. I'll post this application online so you can see an example, and uh, you can learn how to bring GPU rendering to your Air for Android application. Thanks for watching.